hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Usine to those who don't know me and i'm back with another video okay uh, if it's your first time seeing this face and it's looking old okay hi a warm welcome to you i hope you stay please subscribe hit the bell notification so you don't miss a post okay you don't miss me posting another video and if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed what are you doing ma'am hit that subscribe button let it turn gray and join me in posting my videos okay yeah so we're going to do a video about college yeah. about my college specifically so yeah this is my book over here i've written some of the questions and i'm going to answer those you know because i know there's a lot of people who lack information about college and they just don't understand where it's going or or how do you even get in is it funded is it like all this type of stuff a lot of people especially those who are in varsity know more about what they are in you know like they know about varsity they don't understand the concept of college so I'm just trying to put it out there like yo I'm a South African in college period so yeah I'm gonna read out the questions now and then I'm gonna answer them I'm gonna put them on the screen and then I answer them and then yo yo so let's get right into it okay after the whole process of applying and everything, let's say now you are you are you are accepted. Who you are accepted at the institution and you have done okay before you register. Now yeah, then now you have to come for registration. So obviously, the first question arises at then. Will NSF find me? Yes. Okay. All the information that I'll be telling you is based on my own um experience let me say or rather than like based on the institution that i am in the college that i'm in so which is false bay college yeah so all the thing is will be based on that so will nsas find me your story nsas will find you as long as your college is public and it's i think it's registered yeah it's it definitely if your college is public secondly if your college is registered like all the process you know yeah, you will be funded by NSFAS and yeah I'm also gonna tell you the things about the NSFAS allowance uh, yeah so yeah you will be funded with NSFAS once your registration is done and they've submitted the documents to the NSFAS like offices and all this stuff you will get your funding like you get your muller and your so yeah and the next question is how much is the NSFAS allowance on TZ colleges because I'm in I'm on a TZ college how much is the allowance and what for like how long does the allowance go like do you receive the allowance okay yeah so the allowance for TVET this year, because last year it was 1,025 francs. Trust me, it was 1,025 francs per month. And obviously at TVET, we don't get our money, like our NSF money each and every month. You can skip this month, the following month, and for three months you can stay without getting your allowance. But at least when you do get it, like it covers all the payments like they're gonna pay you for all the months that you missed yeah but for this year uh, because nsf increased and all that stuff so this year you get one point one thousand six hundred and seventy five which is one point seventy five friend don't mind my boxer uh what's the thing calendar over there just don't mind it but yeah that's how much you get this year for nsfas so to all the college students that are funded by nsfas 
they get one pump we'll start asking them for money because that's a lot because we used to get 1025 rand yeah and i think our college was scamming us yeah but we ain't getting into that yeah yeah and then um what else so some of the other questions are just popping in as i do the video so don't mind me if i can't like i talk this talk that to this talk that please i'm trying by all means to be organized but it ain't working okay it ain't work. so yeah uh you're so the other thing is how long does it take to complete your course so as you know like um in varsities get like okay somebody was passing next door and oh cool so so in colleges you get 18 months practical and then 18 months theory so I'm still doing my um, theory, yeah, and then I have to do another 18 months for my practical. So yeah, in in college, since um uh, the course that I'm doing it's a three year course, but some I saw some universities do it like for four years, but yeah, it's a three year course. So in college, instead of you doing three years in and doing the theory. They just divide it into two. So you get 18 months practical and then 18 months theory. Yeah. And then you get your diploma after that. After completing 18 months theory and 18 months practical, you get your diploma. You do not get your diploma if you only have N6. No girl, no boy. You still have to do those practicals and then you get your diploma. Yeah. Um, and then another question do you get book allowance <laughs> also me i did think you're gonna get book allowance but hell no hell no because colleges volunteered to buy us books so you do not get book allowance you get books once you just finished with your own registration process you get your student card you get your books especially in my college immediately you just done the registration you go to like this other room they take a picture of you that's gonna be your student card you get your student number and then same time oh my gosh, and then same time you get this paper like that just has like all the books you need to get and the program that you will be doing and then in the level of course and then you go to this other room where there's like books just give it to the lady and then you get your books okay and then same time you just go to class period and then no book allowance for you but soon they still scam us because they just give us textbooks they don't give us like books like notebooks counter books whatever you want to call it to write because we have to take notes we have like activities to do we like have a lot a whole lot of stuff we need to do so have a book. you don't get them yeah. like and then no book alone so you, you don't so the only thing that you should do is after getting those books you have to buy yourself books and then to write in and then yeah but even if they do give us, because I remember on our N5, they did give us, yeah, they did give us, plus it's only just like four books, yeah, because in college you get to do four modules on N4, N5, and then on N6 you do five, yeah, so yeah, they did give us the books on N4, but, you know, I'm sorry, on N5, but still they gave us like in the middle, we have semester as well, so we go with semesters and which is six months after six months you go to the next level so i think around because it was like from july so i think july august i think middle august that's when they just started to give us this and we were like what 
we've already bought books and we're like halfway through the book right now so what we doing yeah uh, either way we took the books because we know that and the following if we miss them we're gonna knit them and they're not gonna give us okay even if they give us they're gonna give us at the middle again which is yeah so yeah that's it about, about the book islands and the bumble a lot and so is accommodation provided Yes, accommodation is provided. Yes, but it's not. Um, you know what do they call it? Uh, the accommodation that um, institution has? Like let's say, yeah, I think that's it. No, it's private accommodation. But but because in my school I gain scamming us, they don't want to give us the accommodation allowance like no no they for i remember like on our end form yeah students choose accommodation yeah blah 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 and it all went well <laughs> come m5 come m5 there was no accommodation for any student they didn't care where do you come from where to live or whatsoever and they forced students to take traveling around they were like okay in the first no longer giving you uh, accommodation allowance so you have to take traveling allowance and blah 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 like that's so that was just a whole lot of drama i don't know how they did but some students still remained in like in those private accommodation some chose transport i don't know how it went but i stayed home so i get the traveling allowance which is 1.675 this year and last year was 1025 rand so yeah and the accommodation students last year they were getting 2.8 i don't remember right this year how much they gave but yeah it's a lot i think three two thousand and something if i'm not mistaken yeah but last year they would get 2.8 per month and then i would get thousand rand how thoughtful of them but yeah so the other question is uh what are your chances of being employed after completing your course ha huh. that's a bombastic question bombastic side i like what side i the chances are 50 50 like after completing your internship the chances of being employed and being unemployed at 50 50 it's just a struggle you have to go to unza balance like oh it's like that because some do get internships some don't get internships because it's based on your marks if you come here with 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent and above from like your final and sector results definitely going to get an internship so with that internship they can be like okay she cool he's cool let's go let's just employ you permanently then boom that's how you got it in this video there were a lot of cuts and like let's do that again and, you know, i hope it makes sense so i don't know where was i um, we're just gonna go right into the next question so the next question is will you be able to go to university after college and will you be funded by nsf yes absolutely yes you can go to college what don't mind that. Mm, please don't mind the noise in the background but just don't try your best to not mind it right the question is uh the the answer is yes you can go to call um what? you can go to varsity after college and you will be funded by M first year. And especially that part that will you be funded, yes you will be funded. Cause I heard actually I didn't hear I was them because um earlier this day I was earlier this year. Oh my gosh, why can I speak? Earlier on this year. I went to NSFAS offices because I was having a problem with my NSFAS and you know, I still have the same problem by the way. But they were like, yeah, 
you can like go to varsity after college and yes you will be funded by NSI. So yep, you will be funded. And how is the pressure at college? <laughs> the pressure the pressure basically college is like high school real it's like high school but i don't know if i would say a little bit extra because yeah the work mm -hmm. and the semester is short there's no formula in college marks to qualify are on their own marks to pass are on their own so you have to like have to qualify for an exam and don't think you like just over it you are done immediately when you qualify that means you're done you passed uh, no you have to qualify for to write an exam you can qualify to write that particular exam and then write it and then fail it and what else uh okay we were on the pressure the pressure is fine it's not fine it's not fine at all because we have to like our pass mark to pass we have to be like we have to have 50 percent on three modules and then uh, on okay on n5 okay let's start from scratch on n4 you have to have 50 percent about three and then one module based on my course okay based on my course you have to have 50 percent of all three and then uh one module 60 percent then n5 same thing then n6 you have to have 50 percent of all four and one 70 percent how cool is that how cool is that <laughs> cool but you just cope with it and just do with it and then yeah. so at all and the good and the bad about college mm. let's start with the good obviously it's better than high school because you come back early yes you wake up you wake up early but you come back early like around 12 o'clock you back and the classes are finished yeah and then what else good it's fun it's fun because it's a whole new environment a whole new experience and yeah you just know good you're there and then after you've been there you're gonna go to work you're just being positive you're gonna go to work and yeah they're bad about college huh we want our money they, they they we have to fight to get our money like fight yo we have to fight to get our money they don't want to give us our nss money but this year they changed the shame. They changed the right. No more fight. We get our money. They they get the, their money. Because I don't get my money. And that's a story for another day. <laughs> yeah. Uh also uh, on the bad ones, yeah. And the bad one is ah oh, that we get homeworks. Homeworks. Yeah, that's good because it's more practice. And the better you practice, the better chances of you passing and all that, blah, 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 huh? Every day, every day. And if you could see homeworks that we get, it's not fair. But we just do them because we have no choice. Actually, you do, but if you do want to pass, you have to do them. Okay. Yeah, and what else? Mm, I wake up early, guys. Bye, bye. You are up by six o'clock. You only take it to go to school, and they be like, "We're training you for like when you're employed." And I get it, but huh? the same money, me not for some blood. But your and what else? Well, I think that is yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Right. Hit the bell notification button so you don't miss another post. And from me to you, love you a lot. Love you a lot, Kasana. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again on my next video. Mm. Bye.